Hey everyone, Sensei Jill here. This week we're celebrating all of the holidays. So whatever holiday you celebrate, feel free to dress like that for class and have some holiday spirit. As you can see, I have my Olaf ones y'all on um, just to celebrate the winter season as a whole. And I'm featuring my Christmas tree in the background. So let's get started with class. All right, start with our student creed. Feet together, hands by your side. I'm a dedicated martial artist. Student creed begin. Eva, I must develop myself in a positive manner and avoid anything that could reduce my mental growth or physical health. Number two, Eva, I must develop self-discipline in order to bring out the best in myself and others. Number three, Eva, I must use common sense before self-defense and never be abusive or offensive. Number four, Aya, winners never quit, quitters never win. I choose to be a winner. Number five, Aya, this is a black belt school. We are dedicated. We are motivated. We are on a quest to be our best. What's up? Ready, set, crazy. So, as you know, the Black Belt Lifestyle Skill this month is attitude. Say attitude! In the video at the beginning of the week, we talked about how attitude is contagious and we can spread a positive attitude. And as martial artists, we have a responsibility to do that. Um, and one way we can do that is by having an act of kindness. So what my challenge for you is, I want you to do three random acts of kindness between now and next week, which is Stripe Test. And I want you to keep track of those. Talk to your adult at home about what acts of kindness you're doing. Tell a sensei when you come to McCoy's or have your parents um, or the adult you live with type underneath the video. What three random acts of kindness did you do? How did you take your attitude and spread a positive attitude in the world around you? So that's the challenge. Are you up for it? So bring on the challenge. So remember, we'll be earning our stripe this month for excellence. That's a gold stripe. Excellence means giving your 110%, doing your very best. Um, and we talked last video about how many people in the world actually do karate. And the fact that you're here doing it makes you better at karate than all those other people. So you know how good you are. I believe in you. You have to believe in you. So... Everything you do today, my challenge for you is act like you know how good you are. You know what, do that in class and also outside of class. Have confidence in what you do. And if you make a mistake, that's okay. You're learning, you're growing, all right? Act like you know how good you are. Say that, say, I will act like I know how good I am. Now pointing yourself. Say, I am awesome. And let's have an awesome class. All right, so for our warm up this week, um, we're gonna have three different workouts that we do. And then I'm gonna roll a dice, a uh, virtual dice. And whatever the dice lands on, that's how many of the drill that I say that you're gonna do. And because next week is stripe test, we're gonna use our warm up to start practicing the skills we're gonna need for that test. All right, All so right. since this is video two of the week, we're gonna do the same warm up drill, but I'm gonna elevate our warm ups to be a little bit more of a challenge. So instead of doing a push up, we're gonna do a burpee. So what that means is you're gonna jump in the air, come down into a push up position, that same black belt push up I'm looking for. Do your push up, bring your feet up, and jump up. All right, so I'm gonna show you one, and then we're gonna do three together. I'll just like to note, to make sure you're in a space where you're not gonna break anything. I think I have it set up well that I have enough space, but we're gonna find out together. Ready? So we're standing up. I'm gonna go sideways like this. So you're gonna jump up, come down, push it, jump your feet up, and come back, and then keep going. All right, so that was your example. Let's do three together. Ready? One. And up. Two. And up. Three. This is hard to do in a onesie, I must say. 
All right. So now that you know what I'm looking for, that's what you'll be doing with the burpees. Okay, so our elevated drill for sit-ups is going to do up, down planks. So to get in a plank, hopefully you can see this, you're gonna be in a push-up position. So you're like this. Up, down planks, you have to go from here, you're gonna go down and then up. Once you've gone down and back up with both hands, that counts as one. So I'll show you an example and then we'll do three together. So this will be one, all right? That's one set. So let's do three together now, ready? Go, one, down, down, up, up. Two, down, down, up, up. Three, down, down, up, up. Nice job. So again, you'll do however many of those that the dice tells you to do. All right, and for elevated drill number three, instead of doing jumping jacks, we're gonna do calf raises. So I'm gonna turn, actually, sideways here so you can see. My calves, this is what's gonna make them stronger. You're gonna come up on your tippy toes and back down. So that's one calf raise. Let's do three together to practice, ready? Go, one, two, three. And just for good practice, while you're doing calf raises, keep your hands up. It's always good practice, muscle memory to keep our hands up. All right, so that's for the third drill in our warm up. Burpees. Up down planks. Calf raises. Cap raises. Burpees. Calf raises. Up down planks. And time. So now we're going to review our kicks. Um, for this kick, we're going to be doing inward crescent kick on both sides. Say that, say inward crescent kick. This is the name of your technique, as well as the name of the kicks in your form. Now remember, every, four, uh, every kick has four parts, and that's our chamber kick, re-chamber, down. So I'm gonna break this down for you, and then we'll do it together. So you start with our belly button facing one way, and we wanna bring our chamber up. Now I'm close to my Christmas tree, as you can see, so this is a great example of, I don't wanna swing my foot really far around. Um, so if you have like a wall or an object that your parents or your adult that you live with feel comfortable you getting close to to help you practice, I definitely recommend that. Um, this is my Christmas tree, so if, I, if something falls off, that's on me. But you bring your leg straight up in front of you like you're stepping on a step. Then you're going to make a C, re-chamber, and land. All right, you're kicking with the inward part of your foot. So that's an inward crescent kick. So let's do that with me. Let's do three inward crescent kicks. We're gonna put our hand out just like in our form, kick, land forward, and then step back to do the same leg. We're kicking with our right leg. Ready? Hand out, one, and back, two, and back. Last one on this side, three. And back. And now we're actually gonna switch our stance. We're gonna do the same thing on either side. All right, hand up, 
Remember, your leg comes straight up for a chamber, swings around for your kick, re-chamber, land. One. And back. Two. And back. Three. And back. Nice job. So those were our inward crescent kicks. Another one of our techniques is our instep kick. Say that's a instep kick. This is one of our techniques. It's also one of the kicks in your self-defense for your double hand choke. So an instep kick. It still is a chamber kick rechamber, but our toes are pointed. So you want to point your toes down and keep them like that as you kick up. Because you're imagining using all this whole part of your leg to so come straight up maybe between someone's legs, um, maybe right here, anywhere that's gonna, you know, make stop them from trying to harm you. So I'll show you once and then we'll practice three times on both sides. So when my leg comes up, my toes are pointed. They stay pointed, come back and down. All right, so same thing. Let's do three. You're gonna land forward, step back. Ready with our right leg. Hands are up. One, ayo. And back. Two, ayo. And back. Last one on this side, three, ayo. And back. Switch your stance. Ready? One, ayo, and back. Two, ayo, land forward, and back. Last one, three, ayo, and back. So that is your instep kick. Right, and lastly is side kick. Now, side kick's not one of your techniques, but it is a kick in your form, and it's a kick that's really important and that you need to know, so we will practice our side kicks. So every kick has how many parts? Four. So when we do our side kick chamber, which is the first part, we're gonna put our butt and our heel towards the target, bring our knee towards our chest. So I'm gonna just show you, this is what a chamber looks like. Chamber. All right, then we kick straight out with our heel, re-chamber, bring it down. Let me show you the whole thing, ready? Side kick, eat up. All right, so what we're gonna do, you guessed it, practice three together on both sides. So fall back in your guard stance. And I want you to start actually with your feet together like in our form and chop out. Now remember our form, we chop as high as we can kick. So I'm gonna kick my butt my shoulder level. If you can't kick that high, chop wherever you are able to kick. Ready? One, yeah. And back. Two, yeah, and back. Last one this side. Three, yeah, and back. Switch sides. Same thing on this side. Ready? Chop. One, yeah, and back. Reset. Two, yeah, and back. Last one on this side. Ready? Three, yeah, and time. So that is our sidekick. Real quick, we're just going to review um, the beginning moves of our form. So don't worry about your feet, I just want you to focus on your hands. Hold them up in fighting stance, do this with me now. So our first move, we make a table kind of with our hands. And the hand that's on top is the one that chops in front. Then we punch, vertical punch, and then we spear. So ready, when I say go, that's what I want you to do. Hands are up. Go, chop, punch, spear. All right, now switch sides. So now other hands in front. Ready, go, chop, punch, spear. So just like our form. So remember that because you're gonna need it for the next drill. So what's gonna happen is you're gonna see the screen pop up and there's gonna be a little Santa Claus walking around. When he's walking around, you're moving. I don't care how you're moving. You can be running in place. You can be spinning, but still looking at the screen. You could be dancing. I don't care, you need to be moving your body. Um, then you'll see Santa do a really poor uh, roundhouse kick. What that means is when you see him kick, you're going to do an inward crescent kick. Or I might say side kick, or I might say inward step kick. Uh, whatever kick I say, that's the kick you execute. And making sure, again, you're switching legs 
every single time you do the kick. Right back to either running in place or your dance move. Um, if you see him throw the candy cane, like kind of like out in the air like that, you're gonna do your hand moves from the form. So you're gonna do that chop, punch, spear. Making sure with both of these techniques, if you kick with your right leg the first time, the second time you're kicking with your left leg. If you start with your left hand in front the first time, you're starting with your right hand in front the second time. So that's your challenge. Are you up for it? Let's go. Inward crescent kick. In step kick. Inward crescent kick. Side kick. Side kick. In step kick. Side kick. Side kick. Form all the way through just by the count. Now that you know the details, let's bring it. Action karate form four man. Guard stance. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Four stance. Go up, in, out, touch, down, back, push down. Set, victory, humility, courtesy, man. Nice job. All right, so for this week to practice our form, I'm gonna throw in one of my favorite Christmas songs. Um, and now this Christmas song says the word Santa uh, a couple of times. Every time the song says Santa, you need to start the beginning of action karate form four. So if you're not done your form all the way and the song says Santa again, you start back from the beginning and you try to finish it before it says Santa again. If you finish it before it says Santa again and there's time in between, what I want you to do is run in place. All right, keep your heart rate up, keep moving. And then again, when you hear Santa, you start doing your form. The point of this is every single time you do it, I want you bringing that 110%. You know it, you gotta act like you know it. Bring that confidence and show yourself, show me, show the adults that might be around, show your brother and sister, show Santa how awesome you are. All right, so let's get after it. Santa, tell me if you're really there.
called passing the horizon. Say that, say passing the horizon. You should all know this by now. When we do passing the horizon, someone takes their hand, is putting it behind their back, and is shoving it up there. They're trying to get us to move where they want us to go. We don't want to do that. So do this with me. Our hands up. We say, I don't want any trouble. We step back. We elbow low, elbow high. Now remember, the bad person's behind us. We want to step away from them. Look at them. Give them a mean face. Show them we mean business. Then you're going to take your hand. You're going to make a big circle. You're going to pass that horizon and grab. Then you're going to punch. You're going to kick land forward. And then you're going to do your one step, two step. One step, two step. Aya. All right, so now that you have it broken down, I'm just going to say go. We're going to do the whole thing. Ready? Hands up. I don't want any trouble. Hand behind the back. And go. Elbow. Elbow. Big step. Look. Past the horizon. Grab. Punch. Kick. Land. One step. Two step. Aya. And time. So our second self-defense is two-hand choke with the pluck. Say that. Say two-hand choke with the pluck. Someone's choking you like this. Your first thing you need to do is breathe. So you're gonna take, go ahead and do this with me. You're gonna take your hands, make little C's, put it in between where they're choking you and pull down. So that's your first move. Your second move, I'm backing up so you can see me. Your second move is you're gonna do your instep kick. So remember that's one where your leg, your toes are pointed and you're coming straight up with your kick. So do that, do instep kick. And then the next kick is a front kick. So you're pushing with the bottom of your foot. Front kick. And then your one step, two step. One step, two step, oh yeah. So now that you know that, let's do it all the way through. I'm just gonna say go, I'll still say the words, um, and we'll do the self-defense. Hands up, I don't want any trouble. Go, pluck, instep kick, front kick, one step, two step, oh yeah. Nice job. So here's the deal to your self-defense drill, there's gonna be a song playing. Every time you see the person who looks like Ice, his name is Cold Miser, I think. I don't know, it's been a long time since I've seen the movie. You're going to do your Passing the Horizon self-defense. Every time you see a little dude who's on fire, his hair is fire, his name is Heat Miser, you're going to do your double hand choke self-defense. So whichever one you're doing, you're doing that self-defense over and over and over again until you see the next person pop up. So it might be the ice miser and you do, you end up doing your self-defense passing the horizon five times. Then it's the heat miser for a different amount of time. You do your uh, double hand choke twice, so on and so forth until the end of the song. But every time you do it, what am I looking for? It's what you're getting your stripe for next week. It's called... Excellent. I'm looking for you to bring excellence for you to bring your best. Let's get after it. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Prospero año y felicidad. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad, Feliz Navidad, prospero año y felicidad. Feliz 
Navidad, feliz Navidad, feliz Navidad, próspero año y felicidad. Feliz Navidad, feliz Navidad, feliz Navidad, próspero año y felicidad. So we're just going to review the technique we did in the first video of the week, and then I'm going to give you the challenge. So fall back in your guard stance. Remember, we did double jab, uppercut. So every time I say go, that's what I want you to do. Double jab, uppercut, like it's a fight. Ready? Go, jab, jab, upper. Go, jab, jab, upper. Go, jab, jab, upper. Go, jab, jab, upper. Nice, and remember, to the best of your ability in your space, I want you to stay light on your feet and move around like it's a fight. So let's do that a few more times, ready? Go, jab, jab, upper. Go, jab, jab, upper, and time. So here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna throw on some music and you're gonna do free sparring. But the only techniques you can do is that jab, jab, upper. So make some space like it's a ring and really visualize your opponent practicing those moves for the whole song. You ready? Let's go. The snow glows white on the mountain tonight, not a footprint to be seen. A kingdom of isolation, and it looks like I'm the queen. The wind is howling like this swirling storm inside Couldn't keep it in, heaven knows I tried Don't let them in, don't let them see Be the good girl you always have to be Conceal, don't feel, don't let them know Time. 
Nice job in class today. We're gonna end class as always with our principles of being a black belt. Feeds the other hands by your side. I'm a dedicated student of the martial arts. And I live by the principles of being a black belt. And they are integrity, concentration, perseverance, respect and obedience, self-control, humility, indomitable spirit, knowledge, power, black belt, courtesy, give yourselves a hand.